I'm stopped at a train, and honestly, if this is how my day is going to start, I want to go back to bed. I already want to go back to bed, but like, really? This is the perfect layover to have a remote with a smart TV that has Netflix. The best bathroom mirror, and look at this. It's a little nightlight. Hold on, let me turn off the lights. It's a nightlight. That's so cool. I love that. I am so stinking tired, you guys. Okay, let's chat. <sighs> I'm beat, I'm exhausted, it's eight o'clock at night. I am gonna be in bed very shortly, very shortly. Oh my gosh, today, today, this weekend, this weekend, it's just like, crew scheduling is certainly humbling me this weekend because last weekend I was flying only on the 787. I went to Cancun and back. I went to London. It was such an amazing reserve week last weekend, but this week, this week is making up for it. It's been awful. <laughs> so, so I just got back from a red eye. I did do like a mini vlog about my red eye turn Red Eye turn to Seattle. We flew Seattle, which is four hour flight out of Chicago and back to Chicago that same night on the Red Eye. It was exhausting. We didn't get back to Chicago until six in the morning. It was exhausting. I did a mini vlog on that, so go check that out. But like, <sighs> I was so tired and I did sleep like a little bit when I got back from the Red Eye, but I was like, I don't wanna sleep all day cause then I'm not gonna sleep at night when I have reserved the next day. So this morning I was on call, I was on call at 2 a.m., which is the first reserve availability period is what we call it, wrap for short. I was on the first one, 2 a.m. to 2 p.m. I bid for the second one, which was 5 a.m. to 5 p.m. because I was like, I don't want them to call me early. Like I'm trying to sleep in and not get called super early, but I did want to get called. I did want to get a three day and I wanted to get called for something where David could fly in and crash my layover because he got in from a trip today too. So that was the plan. Wherever I went, as long as he can get to it, he was going to come crash my layover. Uh, spoiler alert, he's not here. So I get a call at five o'clock this morning for a seven o'clock sign in and I have two hours to get to the airport from the time they call to my sign-in time. A lot of the times they call you like sooner than two hours, but I got two hours on the dot. On the dot, two hours to get to the airport and I got this call at like five in the morning and I, ugh, that was not the plan. The plan was to sleep in and not have to be up at 5 a.m. Cause I was like, I'm not gonna be able to go back to sleep even though like I did have time to, I was like, I'm not gonna be able to go back to sleep for like a half hour. And I was like, I gotta just get ready and go to the airport. So that's what I did. But this trip, you guys, not only did I want to sleep in and did I want something late, I wanted something easy because I'm, I'm still pretty worn out from that red eye turn. So I was like, I need something short, easy, where I can sleep in a little bit, like more than 5 a.m. I was like, you know, give, give me till like eight or nine. Give me till like eight or nine, but no, 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 no. The reserve uh, open trips had other plans for me because I did not get my wish like at all, like at all. So I got the call 5 a.m. 
7 o'clock uh, was my sign-in time, so I had exactly two hours to get to the airport. And it, this, <laughs> and <laughs> it was for a three-leg day, 10 hours on duty, which isn't that bad, which is kind of crazy to think about it. Like, 10 hours is like a short day for me which 10 hours is usually like a long day for normal jobs, but like 10 hours to me, it's like, oh, that's like a short day. So that wasn't too bad, but it was three legs, which I was very used to because I did three legs very often when I worked for a regional airline, but these were a little bit longer of flights, like kind of sort of, so we did Chicago to Denver and then Denver back to Chicago. And usually that's a pretty long flight for like when I was at regional, like, we did have Denver turns out of Chicago for like a hot minute at my regional. I never did them, but like they were considered like high time, like a good time turn, which is not really the case where I am now. But after that, we did Chicago to Raleigh, which is where we currently are, Raleigh, North Carolina. And it was just exhausting. I was just very tired. It was really hard to sleep last night because my naps and just like other stuff that I kind of have going on uh, giving me like anxiety and whatever. So I didn't sleep well last night and I'm just, my body's sore, my body's tired, I'm tired, my brain's tired, I'm really tired, I'm really excited to sleep. And the other like really sucky thing about this trip is that we only have 11 hours here. In Raleigh so like I can't even sleep in tomorrow we have a 6 15 pickup and I can't even be like oh my gosh I'm gonna sleep for like 10 hours because I don't have enough time to sleep for that long it is eight o'clock right now so like literally our pickup is in 10 hours um, I still have to shower and then I'm gonna have to get up like an hour before pickup so like really eight hours max which is great that's a full night's sleep but I really want to sleep in I really wanted more than that. So, yeah, so this is a three day trip, day one. Ugh, but ugh, I'm so tired and I'm so glad like none of the flights were like really delayed. We got into Raleigh a little late cause there's weather and then there's weather all day tomorrow in Raleigh. So like, we'll see, like, will we even make it out of Raleigh? I don't know, but the worst is almost over like after this short layover because the rest of the trip's like pretty easy. And the worst is pretty much almost over, despite the early wake up and after a short layover of which I'm exhausted. That's gonna be like the hardest part, but once that's over, it's gonna be smooth sailing because this is actually like the last two days of this trip's pretty easy. We get back to base at noon on the last day, so then I can just go home. <sighs> and yeah, that is um, my trip. That's my day, that's, mm. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. <laughs> Ugh. I am gonna relax. I guarantee you guys aren't gonna hear from me for the rest of the night because I'm gonna be like asleep in that bed and like Netflix on in the background that I'm not gonna pay attention to because I'm probably gonna fall asleep like ASAP. So anyways, um, <laughs> my camera battery is dying. So that's probably a good sign that I should probably stop talking and let myself get to bed and let you guys get to the next part of the video. So anyways, <laughs> Guess who's still really tired? This girl. All right, friends, I gotta get going, but today we are doing Raleigh to Dallas, Dallas to Nashville, Tennessee, so hopefully it goes smooth and let's go. How do I do this? Oh no. This is not gonna work. Hold up, auto? How do I fix this? Set point 68? Absolutely not, no. 70 and then we'll see from there. We might go up to 72, I don't know. It's a little humid, but we'll see. Hello and welcome to Nashville. Y'all, bless these hotels with these smart TVs. 
Look at our beautiful view of the pool and the sidewalk. I feel like this lighting's garbage, but this is what we have to work with, so here we are. <sighs> well, welcome to Nashville. I was a little iffy on if we were gonna make it here today or not, but we did. We were told when we got in, we we're like, oh, they're fixing the APU. Like, that's great. The hotel lobby has this lemonade and it is so stinking good. I'm picky with lemonade and this lemonade is really good. Anyway, so yesterday the plane that we took in to Raleigh was the same plane that we were going to be taking out this morning, but it was going to maintenance because it had a broken APU. And so I was like, okay, well, our plane is here in Raleigh, however, going to maintenance. So I'm like, well, already that's not like super promising for an on time to departure for especially for like an early morning flight from Raleigh. But we did leave on time, pretty pretty much on time. So there was a little bit of weather in Raleigh and that's what slowed us down. But we only got into Dallas like 10 minutes late, I think. So nothing too crazy, but the APU was fixed by the time we got on the plane in the morning. So that was amazing. I was, you know, I was a little skeptical. I was like, I don't know. I don't know about this. Like this ain't my first rodeo. Mm, I don't know. And But you know, I was pleasantly surprised. So that was nice. We did not have a long time on the ground in Dallas, especially because we had to change terminals. So I literally just mobile ordered myself some Starbucks and a breakfast sandwich because I was hungry and I really needed some caffeine. I had not had any coffee. So I was like, mm, I need some caffeine to make it through my second flight. <laughs> so thank goodness for mobile order. But both of our flights went great. We are currently in Nashville. It is going to rain all day. It's going to rain all day. So are we doing anything? No. Were we gonna do anything anyway? No. <laughs> so this is a slam clicky kind of trip, but like, I'm not as tired as I was yesterday, but I'm still pretty tired today. I think I have that cup of coffee that I had in between my flights, like still going. So it's like, you know, we're still good. We're still good, but pretty soon I'm gonna go lay in that bed and we're probably not gonna be so good. We're probably gonna be pretty tired. I'm still just like catching up from having like a really hectic like week, week and a half. Also, it's raining now. I opened up the window to get some like really good lighting and now it's like pouring. Oh my gosh, I have to show you guys. <laughs> oh, it is coming down. Not going to the pool today. Oh my gosh, those poor people. There's people out there swimming. Oh no. <laughs> It looks like it's an indoor outdoor pool though. Hold up. There's that little blip. Yeah, some girl just popped up. Hopefully that doesn't affect all the inbound flights into Nashville because my fiance David is actually gonna meet me here on this layover. He is at the airport now in Chicago. He is gonna take Southwest down into Nashville and hang out with me on my layover. He has to fly to Dallas tomorrow anyway. So he's like, I might as well just like stop through Nashville, especially cause the flights from Chicago to Dallas tomorrow, the loads don't look so great cause he's flying standby. So it's like, might, might as well, like it's a, not, a super crazy long layover, but it's not a super crazy short layover. Why not? So he'll be here later. But in the meantime, I have to work on some of my quarterly training because it's due in a couple days and I have been procrastinating. I definitely feel like this is a very realistic flight attendant trip because like there are so many exciting flight attendant trips, but things like this where it's just like a little bit more mundane and a little bit more like chill and relax and like yes cool we're in nashville but like we're in a hotel room you know sometimes yeah this trip honestly i'm not a huge fan of like the the layout of the trip and the layovers slash layover lengths and the amount of flying i have on this trip not not huge fan it's it's not awful i've definitely flown worse especially when I was flying five six leg days at my regional airline like it's not awful I'm not complaining it's just not really my cup of tea but but this is definitely a much needed like I need to relax and not do anything on my layovers trip 
I can't even imagine like if I would have gotten something like long haul international, like London or Rome or something like that, because yes, that would have been exciting, but I've just been so exhausted that if I got one of those, I might've just sat in a hotel room. And instead of sitting in a hotel room in Nashville, I would have been sitting in a hotel room in London. I'd rather sit in a hotel room in a city that like I've been to a million times and like gotten to like enjoy multiple times than somewhere like Athens or whatever. The moral of the story is there is always a silver lining even if things aren't exactly how you want them to be. Okay, bye. <laughs> well, that sucks. The Wi-Fi at the hotel is not working, so that's great for watching Netflix and doing online training. I guess we're just going to sit here in silence. It's fine. <laughs>
So I'm going to end this vlog here. If you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of Lexi and my travel adventures, please subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Thank you and enjoy your flight. Fly so much higher. Fly.